<laughs> wow, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> good afternoon, good evening for me. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night, wherever you are in the world. I'm Garen Akunarag. Welcome to the stream, guys. We are uh, doing today, uh, this is new for me. We just started streaming at 4 o'clock, it says? Hmm, yes, yeah, 4 o'clock. I think my pretend worst watch says here it's 4 o'clock. It's very strange. Usually I stream in the mornings. But we do have new streaming hours due to COVID-19 and some, some restraints, but neither here nor there. Welcome. Welcome, guys. So I wanted to make today's stream, and I wanted to talk about playing for life. And I wanted to do a little bit of a tutorial here, and it's very important that people avoid some of the errors that are coming up as people are installing the game. They are all fixable. I've fixed every single error that we've possibly had here. GK Crew has experienced them all, guys. So we're going to go ahead and take a moment to address some of those concerns so that you guys can get in and playing the game that we all know and love. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get begin here. You can see that I'm just freshly on my desktop. You can see you say, hi, hello guys, what up? We're gonna minimize this, so we're not gonna be there anymore. But here's what's very important. They just, uh, Play Park is a company, they are releasing new clients every day. So what we wanna do first is head on over to the Facebook page. Either one of these works, you can get it straight from their Facebook page or you can grab it from the GK Crew. So directly on the GK Crew, guys, I've gone ahead. I can't post the link directly to Twitch. I would put it down in the description below. But on the GK Crew web page, I posted the direct link from the company itself. And so under here, you can see that there is a new client that they released. I don't recommend the client zip. I do recommend the installer. So head on over to the GK Crew. This is pinned right at the top of the page. And before you do anything else, because of the way the game, my nephew was running into these problems as well, we want to head down here to our computer's time zone. You just want to make sure to right click, and then we're going to adjust our date and times. Now, um, this is something exclusive to Asian MMOs. They seem to lock the game into only allowing players from certain areas play the game. For some reason, uh, Flife doesn't, it's not an IP ban, it doesn't ban you or anything, but it's very important for some reason during the installation of the game, the company says make sure your computer is set to Beijing time. So we're going to do that because this is what's worked for me and this is what's worked in the past. So we're going to set our date and time. You're going to go to your time zone. Let's go ahead and change that real quick to you to see 8 o'clock. Look at that. So make sure that this is set. They do recommend restarting your computer after you change the time zone. That's what I did. And then you're going to get the installer there. Install Flife just like normal. Run the game. Yada, yada, yada. Do your thing. Chicken wang. You got it. Get it. Got it good. And then you'll be ready to enter the game. So with that said, anyway, uh, with everything back to the way it was, let me... I'm going to put it back to my usual time zone here. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go back to EST. Hello, Eastern Time, U.S. and Canada, and there we are. So, guys, it's just very important. Make sure we grab that installer. Make sure you are set to the Beijing time. Then install the game, just like normal, and we're ready to go. Without further ado, let's begin. So, we want to talk a little bit. Here's Flife. There are two versions. This version is the Play Park Flife version. They're a Filipino company. I prefer this version, and we're going to go through the differences between each of them today just a little bit. But when you uh, when you run the game... It's going to bring up this. This is what I call the patcher, okay? This is what I call the patcher. And the reason it's a patcher is because it does exactly that. Look at that. It patches the game. <gasps> wow, GK. Is that what patchers do? Yeah, that's what patchers do, guys. That's what patchers do. We have a couple of things to play with here. Don't worry too much about them. Very quickly, options. Don't... You can keep your shadows high, but I've run into issues with the shadows, and I have every modern day computer with a graphics card can run this game at maximum settings. This is an old game; they haven't updated the uh, client graphics at all. You could run it on a potato; it'll still run perfectly fine. So there's nothing crazy here. But one of the things we want to address here is that there is a windowed option. Okay, the windowed option is very important because we're going to do something called the dual clienting. It's an advanced technique later on, but uh, make sure that you just set this to a window. 
set it to the native resolution of your monitor. I'm running on a monitor that's 1920 by 1080, so we're going to leave it at that. That's what I stream in. Just hit the apply button there and let's jump to it. So one of the weird things, I'm not sure why it does this. So as the game boots up, you're going to like this. The game loads. Cool. But the window itself includes this title bar as a part of the resolution. <laughs> and it cuts off the bottom of the... I, I don't know. So just drag it up. That's going to fix all of your problems. So now you can see the bottom. I know that you guys can't really see the bottom because of the way I have the stream set up. Make sure you drag your client up. That's what I'm trying to say, guys. That's what I'm trying to say. Logged in. Here we go, guys. What we're doing, there are three different servers offered by Play Park. Media Niker is the one that I cover the Guild Sieges on. That's the one I play with. That's what you've seen me stream in the past uh, because they are doing an event for all of the players. I love it. I love the event. It is fantastic. People are duking it out in the Guild Siege arena and they are fighting for real rewards so that they can get their characters' powers. It's, it's crazy. They're offering insane rewards. That's where we do most of our coverage. Now, the regular game has two different offerings available to you. There is the Lord Pang server and Rhysis. The main difference between the two of these servers is Lord, Pan Lord Pang is new. It's a new server. There's not as many players on it, and it only goes up to level 120. 120 is the maximum level for the game from way long ago. It's since been raised, but for a lot of players, and myself included, I, I'm, I, I, don't, I don't like all of the additional fluff. 170 is way too high. We're not going to get into it. So Lord Pang is a server that I recommend the most for new players. It's fresh. It gives you an easy leveling experience all the way to 120 because you, um, that's all there is to it. You don't have to worry about going past 120. There's no master quest. There's none of the extra stuff. Play the game. Go to 120. Rhysis is a server that's the server they first started with. This one goes all the way to level 135, but it includes what is called Master Quest. Now I know, okay, GK, I don't, I don't understand exactly what Master Quest is. Don't worry about it yet. Don't worry about it yet. Just know that this one has a little less gameplay. So if you're a player with not as much time on your hands, I probably recommend Lord Pang because that's probably something that's accomplishable. Rhysis has a little bit more gameplay and is more populated because there's more players. It's the one that's been around the longest. But I want to show you guys exactly how to play the game. So we're going to get started on Lord Pang, and let's begin. On the right-hand side, guys, are channels. They are just they just have special names. We are all on the same server. You can see people in your channel. You can change channels as much as you'd like. You're not locked into any specific channel, guys. So. Even though I selected Lord Pang here, it doesn't matter which of these I pick. I probably would stay away from the PK server just because you probably don't want to get killed. You, you can kill other people. That's what PK stands for. It stands for player killers, and that's not what we are. So we're just going to head on over to, you know, Mochimochi. Most people, I think, just pick Channel 1. So let's get in there and select Channel 1. Mm, look at that. Guys, very basic, very simple interface. Let's go ahead and create a character. I'm going to be a dude because I'm a dude. Hey, dude. We're going to name myself. I already have a character named after myself. GK will be fine. Let's name myself GK. Hairstyle. Sweet. I like this one. I remember when there used to be, there used to only literally be three hair colors. You would have to pay to have other hair colors unlocked. Let's go with a nice... I'm feeling pink today. Where's the pink one? No pink? I thought pink was an option. Let's go green. There we go. Let's go green. Uh, pick a face. Not many options here either. Yeah, I like that one. It kind of matches his hair. Uh, a character pin. Guys, a character pin or a bank pin is how you log into the game. Of course, you see me type this in all the time, and I don't mind because Play Park does support two-factor authentication. So unless you want to hack into my cell phone and steal my authenticator, uh, that's great. I dare you to try it. I don't think that you're the Chinese government, so good luck to you. Also, Chinese government, don't steal my Flife account. I really don't know why they would, but they could. Uh, <laughs> so make sure, guys, it's very important to remember your bank pin. If you do not, you will have to submit a ticket to the company itself to get that changed later. So we're just going to keep it simple. I'm going to use the same one I use. 
in game. You've seen me type it in a whole bunch of times. There we go. It's that easy. Bam! Now we're ready to play the game. Let's get to it. Hi, GK. You're beautiful. I accept. Type in your character pin. Don't mess this up. I'll mess it up on purpose just to show you what happens. If you type in your pin wrong, of course it tells you your pin's wrong. Then you type it in correctly. Tutorial for my nephew is exactly right, Will Wheaton. Yeah, this is also we're gonna put this on YouTube too. We're gonna do the we're gonna get some people out there. We gotta get the word out there. We're gonna get the word. In just a second, guys, because I typed my pin in incorrectly. But that's a really weird that's a really weird sentence in English. I typed it there it is. You typed your pin in incorrectly. English is weird. Uh you're just gonna get this little error box. Don't worry about it. It means it means nothing. It just means Oh my god. It means cats are going to raid your bedroom and attack everything. Holy crap, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, Spartacus. Spartacus. Go outside. So log back into the game. No problem. Let's get back in there. Lord Pang Mokomochi. Looks good. Click OK. Hello, GK. You're looking lovely. Now, don't type your pin in incorrectly. Even if you hit the back arrow, guys. Oh my god. They ban you. They hate you. All right. Typed it in correctly. I'm good to go. Boom. No problem. Hey, we're in Flife. Look at this. Hey, look at this game. It looks great. Hi, October 1998. You're going on YouTube. I hope you like that. They don't even... I don't even know. Guys, uh, now, funnily enough, I just found this out. Look, I've played this game forever in a day. I'm not even a high level. I, I quit too many times. But anyway, this little guy, this little penguin. Hi. Say hi to your new best friend. This is the Peng. Hi, Peng. He gives you lots of cool information about how to play the game. I've never, I've never once done this tutorial in my life. I didn't know it existed. I literally would always log into the game, right click this guy and hit hide. Like, get your, get your face out of here, go away. Uh, we're not going to do that. We're going to actually go through this because I've, 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 well, I, I've never done it. So let's, uh, let's see what's going on here. He says, hello, I am Info Pang. I'm going to make him, uh, well, what accent should I give the guy? That's the real question. What what accent should we do for uh, the Pang? Are you even still here? I don't want to pull up. I don't want to pull up the chat just in case you're not. I think I'm gonna go with a British accent though. I think that that's appropriate. It's the little hat. The little hat makes you. Uh, it makes me want to. Just something about it. I just want to be a British guy. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do that. I don't know where you went, Will. So he says, "Hello there, I'm Infopang. I'm your guide to survive magical, and I have a lot of useful information. Are you ready to learn the lessons needed to survive in this world? That's me too. I'm here to help you guys survive in this world. You can also check the information that you've learned by using my menu. Great. Thanks, Pang. Let's go through character movement. Oh my God, Irish. Oh boy. Okay." I don't know if I can do an Irish accent. Um, you're you're making this hard on me. Uh, Irish people, don't be offended. I apologize. Um, let's go through your character movement. No, that's Scottish. Jesus. I sound like Merda from what's it called? That movie. Ah, eh, forget it. Uh, <laughs> I can't do. I'm sticking. You can move your character by either the keyboard or the mouse. Sweet. He means this. You can click. Oh my god. Uh, that changed. I didn't even read what that said. Character movement bar keyboard is as follows. Forward and W. It's the it's standard. It's the standard MMO practices, guys. You can hit W, A, S, and D to move your character. Wow. He's so fast. Look at him running around the clock tower, and it. Look at him go, baby. Oh my god, guys. He's gonna make it all the way around to downtown Pittsburgh. Touchdown! Well done. Now you know how to move. Let's now let's learn. Oh wait. Now let's go through how to walk and run. Uh, why do they teach you this? Your character is running by default. You're never gonna hit the X button. Click X if you want to walk. He means like this. Because your character is now the most badass person on the planet when you do this. That's why we do this. <laughs> the Scottish. <laughs> I'm, ha I'm happy the Scottish was good. Alright, so just uh, if you want to run, hit X again. That's cool. 
Alright, so now your character is cool. Next is how to jump. Press the space bar. Amazing. Now let's go through how the camera works. The camera's handled by your mouse and keyboard. Let's go with the mouse first. It's pretty standard fare. This game pretty much... It's, 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 if you've played a game before, you kind of know how this works. But anyway, move the mouse pointer to where you want to see and hold down the right click to move the mouse. That looks great. You can spin the camera. Look at this 360 no scope. Got him. Good. How the camera works with the keyboard. Up arrow, down arrow, left arrow, right arrow. Testicle, spectacles, wallet, and watch. Got it. Okay. Next. How is it? Easy? Now let's look into how to zoom in and out. Zooming in. Oh my god. Scroll your mouse wheel, ladies and gentlemen. You want to zoom in? Scroll it in. You want to zoom out? Scroll it out. Here we go. The area you will adventure in is called Magical. That's the magical world of Magical. Click M if you want to check your current location or check the map of other areas. Okay. Press M again to close the map. Great. Let's go through the navigator. Let me slide him up. Can I move his text box so you guys can... Why are you doing this? Can we do this? Well, I can't do this. All right. Let's go through. I'm doing this for for the new people that want to play Flyth. That's why. We want to... That's what I I, I, th I think so, but you know what? I've never done the game in I've never done the in-game tutorial, so I don't know exactly how well it teaches people how to play the game. Uh, it's doing a pretty good job so far. If you get lost, hit the M button. Next, let's go through the navigator. You can check your location in the surrounding area with the navigator. That's this guy. Okay, it's a little mini map. Activate and deactivate the navigator with N. I mean, you're never gonna shut it off, really. So how do you chat with others? That's very important. How do I troll all of the peoples and how do I tell them Peña Peña? I need to ask people, hey, can I have monies? That's how you ask in Filipino, Peña Peña. That's what they do. Click, uh, click enter to activate the chat window. Normal chat is displayed to users around you. Look at this, hello world. I am playing Flife. I am pro Flife player. Next, click. Let's learn how to shout. Shouting reaches a wider range of users than normal chat. I can shout. I won't do it. All right, we're going to skip that joke. Uh, uh, add a slash S and hang on. Uh, sometimes your mouth just gets so dry. Add a slash S in front of what you want to say, and keep in mind that other players will not be able to see you shout until you are level 20. It's how they prevent the bots. Hello, world. I am playing Flife. I am pro Flife player. You see? Oh, you guys can't even see this. Hang on. Look at that. Slash S. It means for sarcasm if you're on Reddit. But we don't like Reddit. Reddit. Anyway. Slash S. Hello, world. Wait, it let me shout. It shouldn't have let me shout. I'm so confused now. Wow, did you just lie to me? Usually it doesn't let you shout. It actually tells you. Maybe maybe he was, maybe he's right. Maybe other people can't see what I'm saying. You can still shout, but maybe, maybe you, it, it, yeah. Okay, yeah, no, that's, that's fine. We're going to put that, go away. We're going to put you right back where you, where we found you. Nah, you know what, I'll put it. Nah, okay. Wow, deciding on your UI is like one of the hardest aspects of this game. Let's learn about party chat. Yes, big parties. RuneScape drop party Falador. I'm dropping a Tebow. Let's go. Don't forget that party chat is only available when you are in a party and add slash P in front of what you want to say. Oh, God. I'm getting flashbacks, Will Wheaton, to uh, yesterday's stream with Fisnia and Kill Force, and we were talking about the PP. Oh, God, guys. Now the P is back. See? Slash P. P. <laughs> no, just slash P. Just slash P. I can talk to my party members. I do not have a party, though. It is... Wait. Wait. Sad-faced. It is not my birthday. Oh, see, that one tells me you can't actually chat. Hey, kill for There he is. <laughs> the PP -pee jokes are back, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, God. Slash PP. -pee -pee. We got a big slash P. That's how you talk to your party members, but I do not have a party. Next. Want to send a chat message to a specific user? Yes. Slash W and then... Okay, uh, I'm, I'm going to be fair. So I'm, I'm glad I am going through this list with you guys because slash W... Um, 
is bad. Slash W is a whisper in this window, and people people don't even pay attention to their chat. I don't even pay attention to the chat. Agro Fire Truck, one of my guildmates is like, hey, hey GK, hey GK, you know, hey, I need your help. Like, and, and he's not even being he's not even being annoying about it. He's just like, hey, I need your help. And then, uh oh, what happened? She couldn't get in. No, she got in. She's a cat. No, no Discord right now. We gotta do. We're doing this thing. We're doing this real quick. Sla anyway, the point is, slash W is is useless, right? You can get slash W'd all day long. You're not gonna see it. Nobody cares. What's important is slash say. Watch this. This is the one you wanna use. Don't slash W, people. It's useless. If you are in a guild, you can use slash G. Cool. All messages except for chat are displayed in the system window. Click the system button in the chat window to check it out. We need, um... I actually don't know which of these. Oh, okay, here it is. Huh. Hey, did, did any of you know this existed? Because I didn't know this. I don't know what this is. <laughs> I didn't know this actually existed. What is, all messages except for chat are displayed in the system window. That's pretty cool. I, di I actually didn't, I didn't know this existed. I'm going to put that back. That's neat. If you want to see only the chat you want, select each tab with the filter button and choose the kind of chat that you... Really? Oh my god, I didn't know... Cool. I don't want to see whispers or guild chat, and I don't like the party I'm in because they're annoying, and you know what? I don't like screaming people. I don't like screaming people. Go away. There we go. Now the only people that can talk to us are those people that whisper. We're going to have a nice chat today because we only accept whispers from people. Just kidding. Turn them back on. I shut off the whispers too. All right. Um, I didn't know that either. Chat filter. Great. It's right here. It's right here. Next. Oh my god, there's so much information. I'm already tired. It in here. Yeah, it smells like cat. They just pooped. The cat window, or uh, character window. Wow. Character window displays information about your character. <laughs> you can also distribute uh, GP points you have gained. I didn't even know they were called GP points. No, I didn't know any of this. I guess character points are called GP points. He says, press the H, uh, H button to view this window. Here's our character stats. So this is where we spend our, our, our GP, apparently, which... Oh, yeah, you know what? they st You know what? I just remember. They stand for growth points. Growth points, guys. That's why. Let's go through... Um, so press the H key to open up your character. We'll be revisiting this. We're going to talk about this page. Uh, in a second anyway. Let's go through item equipment by clicking I. Okay. I mean, I, I don't I, I don't know about you, but I'm a normal person. I don't click my keyboard, so I'm just going to hit the I button with my finger. We're going to take our finger, and we're just going to, you know, I'm just, thank, okay. Wow, we did it. We're so smart. Click, click the I. I guess you could click your inventory. I'm lying. You can. You can go to menu and then uh, inventory. Yeah, okay. So you can click your inventory. Wow. Anyway, here's your inventory. It's a person. Let's learn about the quest diary. Okay, I guess we're done. He explained nothing. He explained nothing. This is Lord Pang. We just, you know what? I did Lord Pang. Yeah, Pang. Pang, Pang. Guys, your inventory is, uh, we'll talk about all the equipment slots. There's a lot, that, there's a, he didn't explain anything. This is where you control what's in your backpack. This is where you control your money. This is where you control what your character has equipped. So everything about your character goes into your inventory page. Um, your food, your usables, your pets, your fashion, quest items, all of it, right in your inventory. So he, he didn't do any, he didn't explain anything. But you can see, we start off with a couple items. It's all in my inventory. Where else am I going to keep it? Secretly, it's in his butt. <clears throat> <coughs> anyway, moving on, let's learn about the quest diary. You're not... Okay. 
It's Q. Hit Q for Quest Diary. Yay! Wow. Well done. Let's learn about the quick slot located at the bottom of your screen. He's talking about this thing down here. This is your quick slots. Your, your screen probably looks like this when you first boot up the game. Maybe? Is my... Yeah, he's watching. I'm doing this for YouTube, though, guys. This isn't really just for him. This is for anybody that wants to learn how to play. And myself... Look, I learned something new today. <laughs> like, ten new things already. Because I've never clicked... I've never clicked through this. So, anyway. Yours probably looks like... You guys can't even see... Can you guys see the... Oh, my God. No, you guys can't... Let me... Hang on. Hang on. You know what? I don't need you today. We don't have a sub goal. This is going up here. You're just... You know what? Undo. Cancel. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Okay. There we go. Alright. <laughs> okay. Now you can see. Lucky. Now you can see what we're talking about. Down here, this is your little action bar. There's a lock icon. You can drag this out. There's more inventory slots. Click the up arrow. See, he doesn't explain any of this. Maybe he does. Well done. Let's learn about quick slot. You can put your items and skills into the slot so you can use them quickly. F1 through F9 can be used as hotkeys. Actually, F1 through F10. I had to look at my keyboard. F10 can be used as keys. You can also use the keys 1 through 8 to quickly cycle through your hotbars? What? That is a that is a lie. This is not true. Why are you like shake him? Yeah, bad penguin. Quit lying to me. Um no. It's F1 through F10. All of those keys work. Look, it goes all the way to F10. You can see it over there. And to actually cycle through your hotbars, you hit the tilde key. Look at that. It flips the hotbars. You're really not... This is useless. You're not going to do this, guys. There's really no point. Okay? There's no point to doing this. We're done with that. Is it is it tough to hunt alone? No, not really. Then make a party with others. It'll be easier for you to kill boss monsters together. They're explaining this. Look, there's... You don't kill boss members. What the heck, game? To invite a party member, you're going to type in... Sla whatever. We'll talk about that later. You can check information about your party by hitting the P key. Great, I have no party. Thanks for reminding me that I'm all alone. <laughs> Hold down the alt key and left click on another character and this displays a menu. Did you guys know you can click alt? It's a good thing October 1998 is here. Because I'm going to hold in the alt key and click. <gasps> well, gee, I just learned something new as well. I've been right clicking on people this entire time. Because look, right click works just as well. Amazing. That's fantastic play. Great play. 10 out of 10. Uh, so I didn't know that, okay? So you can also invite other people by doing this. There's there's all this stuff. If you want to if you want to add somebody to your friends list, you can click on add to my list, invite them to a party. I can follow you, view your equipment, give you a cheer, request a pupil bond. All kinds of good stuff. You can duel people? I, uh, I don't know. There's not a dueling option. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I'm too low of a level. Who knows? Let's click next. Oh, oh my god. Let's learn about one-on-one -on -one trading. It is for trading items in Pena. Hold down alt and left click on a character and click trade from the menu. It's self-explanatory, guys. Okay. So, next. Do you have unnecessary items? Yes. I do. Then open a private shop and sell them to others. Don't do that. What the? Why? Why? Do you have useless crap? Who? Who? Me? Yes, you. Do you have useless stuff that's garbage? 
Yeah, I have tons of garbage. Take a look here. It's garbage. Put it in a shop and sell it to people. Genius business practices. 10 out of 10. I love it. Let's sell sh uh, garbage to people. I almost said shit. <laughs> That's the joke. Don't sell garbage to people. Here's what you do with it. You don't ignore what he's saying. Here's what you do. Okay, he's not wrong. When you have something that you want to sell to other people, you have your private shop. You can go here and open up a private shop. You can give it a cool name like this. Now I have a cool name store. Or you can name it something funny like this. Hilarious. Now, it doesn't I don't care. Whatever. Name it whatever you like. You can put stuff in here. I'm going to sell this garbage for 2 billion penniers. Look at that. Oh, the amount of penya in your inventory space and the price you are trying to sell it at cannot exceed 2 billion 100 million penya. It's a very expensive lollipop. We're just going to have to reduce the price then. Perfect. Scheisse. Okay, that didn't work either. Well... You get the picture. So you can sell stuff to other players. If you don't like opening up an inventory shop, okay, if you're one of the people that's lazy like me, hi, I'm a lazy person. I like to not sell things in a store because I'm lazy. You can come over here to the vendor. Oh my god, this server is so dead. Uh, I, I mean, this server is really active. Talk to the vendor, and there you have it. You can sell anything you like. So I'm going to sell this lollipop. I'm going to put it up. Watch this, guys. Big PP play right here. Boom. Nope. Can I? Shice. I do not have enough Pena. So it costs money to sell things in the vendor. Whatever. We're going to continue on. Two options there. Don't have enough inventory space? No, I do not have enough inventory space. I have so many slots open. Not enough. We don't have enough inventory. Go to the public office NPC. That's her right here. Her name is Julie. There's actually different public offices depending on the town that you're in. So go up to any public office NPC in the town, talk to the NPC, and from here in this menu, we can bank items, deposit. Type in your bank pin that you said earlier at the beginning of this episode, and here it is, your bank. You can put lollipops in it. Cool. Oh my god, are we going to kill anything? Literally, by this time, I'm probably already level 10. How long have we been doing this? 35 minutes? Jesus. Let's learn about the messenger window. Click E, and you will see the messenger window. I do. I do, Mr. Pang. Express yourself with the... Now, look. the me It doesn't... I didn't read that. The messenger window is how you add your friends. You can message people. Okay. So if you want to add somebody, like let's say I wanted to be friends with Misaki here. I'm so happy there's people in here. I can just add a friend and I can put his or her name in there. And boom, you can add him as a friend. The end. Uh, express yourself with motions. Click O. Okay, click O. And then, oh, okay, here we go, guys. Motions. I can combat stance. I can sit down. Okay, okay, you can sit down. Pick up nearby item. It's already down here. I'm going to put this up here at F1. I don't know why. I like that up at F1. Sit down. I'm just going to put over there. If you give me a burger, I'm going to woof it down. I'm not going to sit down. We're going to woof it down. Now, um, one of the things that's very important from this menu, and I'm happy you mentioned this, Lord Pang. One of the things that you're going to see here is attack the selected target. Professional life players know that this is a very important keybind. You're going to put this at number one. Because otherwise, you're going to be double-clicking everything. And it's much easier to just simply left-click something and then attack the target. So we're going to do that. So thank you, Pang, for reminding us that, yes, we can we can actually hit the, we can hit the attack, the select, the target button. All right. So that handles that. Great. We're on our way to killing something, I hope. In here, you get one cheer point for every hour that you play Flife. That's right. The more time you dedicate to losing your life, you get more Flife life in the form of cheer points. Click on another character. Click the cheer icon in the motion window, and then click on the Alt plus mouse button to cheer another character. Yeah, okay, there it is. It's right in the menu. So if you have a cheer, 
cheer people. They get 5% bonus EXP for 10 minutes. I never knew how much experience points it was, but that's cool. So it's 5% more EXP. Now we know. And knowing is half the battle. All right. We're done with the lessons, so go start your adventure in Flife. Oh, okay. I was like, wait, you didn't explain 99% of the game to me. Holy crap. Shall we start the adventure? Go talk to the general store, General Louie. He has quests for adventurers such as your... He... Hi. I did... This is very exciting. I've never done these quests. I always... Look, when I start Flife, I literally always close out of the pang. Alright? I tell him to go kick the bucket. I kick him out. And then I run over to her, and I start doing her quest. But he has a secret quest. Now I'm curious. My curiosity is peaked. It's called Welcome to Madrigal. Okay. Welcome, Traveler. By the look at you, I'd say you're getting ready for an adventure. Yes, we are. Uh, well, then you've come to the right place. There are plenty of dangerous monsters out there to battle. And my shop will help you get prepared for the fight. This is fun facts. He is true. You'll be seeing a lot... Uh, you'll be seeing me a lot... What? You'll be seeing me a lot later on, I'm sure. But for now, why don't you pay our local blacksmith, Boboko, a visit? Okay, Boboko. Boboko owns the armor shop near here, and I think he might have something special for you. Boboko's right nearby. You can't miss him with all of the hammering. Oh, and welcome to Magical. Oh my god, that's so nice. Thank you for the nice, warm welcome. Let's go talk to him. Hello, Mr. Boboku. Good day, sir. His name is Shield Boboku. Look at him hammering. Look at these guys. You guys are Chad fellows. If I was as ripped and big as you guys, I would also be hammersmiths. All right. Working hard or hardly working? We're working hard. So let's talk to Boboko. He says, howdy. He's a Texan. That's how you know. He's from Texas. Louie told me you'd be coming. Here, this should help you get started. Next time you come by, we'll get you underway on your vagrant training. Don't tell me my Texan accent is wrong. I'm American, damn it. I know them all. Good to see you again. Glad to see some new faces, Magical. What with all the Masker Pets around? Let's see what we can do to get you ready to face them. This is the armor shop. Here you can buy the armor crafted by my family once you meet the requirements for it. There are four armor slots in your inventory. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. He is correct. There are four. Take a look. I can't interact with myself while I'm talking to somebody, so we're going to have to wait. They are the helmet, suit, gauntlet, and boots. Fantastic. You'll find that different jobs and levels have access to different kinds of armor. Of course, you probably already knew that. I did. I did already know that. Thank you. Now, go talk to my brother Boboku next door at his weapon shop. I know it's loud over here, but didn't you see me pointing? Boboku's weapon shop is right next door. I, is he this way? Uh, are you sure? Is I don't... Is he this way? Oh, there he is. Okay. <laughs> right next door get it to the to the right to the right next door perfect D dialogue is he also texan yeah why not well hello there good of you to stop by here take this and the next time i see you we'll get you up to speed on weapons okay what you give me oh we got some money experience points cool i didn't know this <laughs> oh wait hang on will wheaton say what are you guys doing Bruh, I heard you talking about me. <laughs> a German player is going to do a story video where he explains the whole story of life with all the quests and stuff. I think that's huge and interesting. That's what I'm talking about. The the um, there's all, oh yeah, the lore of life. If you guys have never done the quests, so many quests, so many quests that you could quest until questing. Agro, I was saying uh, oh yeah, earlier. That's not a southern accent. That's a Texan. No, that's a Texas accent. We know that Texas is not Southern. They're Texas. <laughs> <laughs>
Texas is Texas, the South is the South. <laughs> Am I wrong? I mean, they definitely consider themselves to be Southern, but Texas is a whole new bag of worms. They, they, they are... There's something else over there in Texas. How should, how should I be doing it? That's a better question. Disappointed. What was I talking to you about? I was talking about earlier trying to get somebody's attention in Flife. They're using like the slash whisper function. We don't slash whisper people in Flife. We slash say people in Flife. You want to you wanna give them a good slash say. So that way you get, uh, you know, so that way you, you actually, you'll try it. Yeah, yeah, that's the cowboy accent. Yeah. Just like armor, weapons differ by the job. You don't have the experience to wield anything in my shop yet, but look around magical. I'm sure you'll find <laughs> something. Okay. As a vagrant, you can use a sword in one hand and a shield in the other. Equip them by double-clicking them or dragging them into the appropriate slot in your inventory. Is it a good cowboy accent? I thought I was <laughs> nailing it, man. God bless you. Mm, now you're... <laughs> well, fine, I won't bless you. Okay, then. I love you. Now you're ready to look at shields. Go see Luda next door at the <laughs> shield shop, and he'll take care of you. He should have said, yeah. Yeah, he should have said, well, he'll take care of you. And there's no of. They don't have an of in Texas. It's just, he'll take care of you. Next. Baby. What? What are you saying? We're talking in Texas accents. He's Texan. He said howdy. Right? The key, the the true moniker of any Texan is if they greet you with a howdy. That's how you know you made it to Texas. Or or you went too far south and they start speaking Spanish at you. They speak Spanish in Texas, too. That's how you know you're in Texas. Luda Shield Shop is just next door. Have fun, kid. Don't you think that's a little rude? How old am I? Do you think it's rude? Do I? Probably. Agro Fire Truck, do you think it's uh, rude to talk in a Texas accent? Stop by any time you need a good weapon. That's right. That's right. Where is Luda, though? Oh, here he is. Here he is. Look at his face. Oh, my God, ladies and gentlemen. This mustache. Oh, I want my mustache to look like his. All right. Hi, Luda. Dialogue. Ha ha. Nice to meet ya. Name's Luda. I'm in charge. Wow, nice to meet your name's Luda. He rhymes. That's a crime. I'm in charge of shields and other equipment for vagrants here in Magical. Let's get you set up to fight, shall we? Okay. I would love to fight something. My god, it's like 35 minutes into the game. And we just leveled up without killing anything. Wow. Ha ha ha! Welcome to the shield shop. You can buy shields, weapons, and armor for vagrants here. I stock all of the equipment that you need prior to your first job change at level 15. Okay. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Not a problem. Why don't you buy a longsword with the penya you've collected? You can buy it by dragging it into your inventory. Also, you can sell an item by dragging it into the shop window. Pretty easy, huh? Okay. After buying it, please visit Losha at the food shop. Okay. Losha at the food shop is staying in Eastern Flareen, which is located to the east of here. You'll have to cross the bridge to get there. Okay. Goodbye. All right. Oh. Yeah, there's a lot of... This is, this is crazy. My God. I, I wasn't expecting this tutorial to go through. Like, this is cool. I mean, it's crazy. It's cool, though. It really is teaching us how to play the game. So, the, the one thing... The one thing it forgot to mention is that very frequently, the game crashes. So, if it randomly shuts down on you, don't worry about it too much, because you're... It, 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 it happens. Let's bring this back up. So, how are you, how are you guys doing in that? Any, uh... Anything you want to share with the chat for the YouTubes? I think we're all fueled up. 
All right, let's get back to it. I don't know why the game crashed there. <laughs> I don't know why. Now, anyway, so as we were saying, <sighs> the game, uh, it didn't really explain how to, how to, how to shop. You're just going to trade Luda, okay? And he wants you to buy a longsword, so there we go. Whoops. We're going to put it into our grocery cart and purchase. Then if you want to sell anything to him, like lollipops, you just take it from the inventory, and sell it. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Double, double click or drag it to your inventory slot to equip it. Looks great. Very simple. Uh, and since I don't need this sword anymore, I'm going to get rid of the wooden sword too because I have a better sword. So let's sell that. Great. Now let's go talk to Losha. Oh my god. Level 2, and we haven't even killed anything yet. Insane. Baby's first MMO. That's exactly what comes to mind here. Because, uh, yeah. Eastern Flaring is where the Bell Tower lives and all of the trainers. There's also a bell tower in Northern Flaring, but this is a cooler one. It's a much taller bell tower. See? There's your bell at the top. Uh, Losha. Hello, food shop. So food shops are where you get your food from. Let's talk. You are new to Magical, right? Hi. I have heard a lot about you already. How? How? Who is spreading rumors? Here, take this. It's a gift from Luda. Talk to me again for your next task. You receive a green shield. Sweet. You're going to see in a second it's not actually green. Hello, I am Losha and I run the food shop. I sell food that is helpful for when you lose your health points. Each type of food has a different recovery power and level requirement. You can eat the food by double clicking it in your inventory. Also, you can add them to your hotkeys. You're not going to double click food out of your inventory. Please remember that you once the food is eaten, you cannot eat again for a certain amount of time. You got to give your belly time to digest the food, guys. That's why. Now that the lesson is over, it is time for some combat. There are a lot of abats to the north. Please hunt 15 small abats. Okay, and then go back to Luda at the shield drop. Okay, okay. I'm feeling you. Before we do that, because I am pro flifer, because I am the best that ever was. I'm going to equip... Oh, I need to be level 3? <laughs> well, okay then. Check this out, guys. We're going to head back to Central Flaring. It's so weird. It's so weird running so slowly like this. Head back to... Before you go kill anything, head back to Central Flaring. I should have did this earlier. Make sure we talk to Vailish. I'm not going to read her quest because I'm way too lazy for that. Okay, welcome, Vagrant. My name is Iz. No, it's not Iz. It's Valish. I helped guide all of the Vagrants here. Since you are new in town, I'll give you a simple mission that will help you get up to speed. There are many Abats and Mushpangs that wander near the town and cause trouble for some of the residents. Can you help me by killing five Abats and three Mushpangs? Okay. Goodbye. All right. So she sends you on a little quest to go hunt. Before you leave the town, you want to come talk to this penguin right here. He's a very very lovely helpful penguin his name is the buff pang there are all kinds of buff pangs across uh magical he's not the only one this is the one in flaring talk to or yeah flaring talk to him let's get jacked boom got the boofs all right these are, guys this just makes the buffs mm, they just make the game so much easier and i i'm sure that many of us agree that it makes the game a lot better so uh, we're going to leave. Now, look, the guy said, uh, um, bless you, thank you for spraying me. Bless you, thank me, thank you. Sorry for spraying you. I sprayed my wife with uh, saliva. Um, Ew. yeah, that's gross. Anyway, uh, 
so let's pretend you're new to, to you're new to the game. I I don't, but GK, I don't know where to go to kill the the peoples. Didn't you pay attention to Mr. Pang earlier in the episode? He said hit the M key. But he also didn't explain anything about, well, how do you find the monsters? Here's how you find the monsters. Let me make this nice and big. Okay, guys? Here's the map of Magical. That, stop it. Uh, on the map, you can see that this is monster detail. So this is a town map. We need to go to a region map. And we are in Flaring. So let's find Flaris. So now this is the whole island of Flaris. You're tired? Hey, well, we... <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. God. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. Eh. Enjoy your sleep. I'll see you tomorrow for the Guild Siege. Um, This is a map of flaring. Just click the monster detail. It tells you all about the monsters that we get to kill. You're going to see uh, that it says A-Bats are down here. Yes, A-Bats are down there. But I am a pro flifer, so I'm going to show you where to go to kill these A-Bats because you're not going to go down here, let me tell you. You're going to head over here to these mushpang looking guys, these mushroom people, and uh, we're going to we're gonna go over this way because A-Bats also hang out with the mushroom people. All right, so let's do that. So we opened up our map, and now we can see, okay, here's all the monsters for us to kill, and I, I like it. We're going to kill all of these guys. All of them. Kill them all. All right, that's enough of that. Let's have some nice, lighthearted fun. <laughs> so, uh, run out, run out of the town. Now we're ready to kill some stuff. Yes, see what I mean? A-bats exist here too, so you don't actually have to go uh, down south. So our first quest, if we hit the Q key, I gotta uh, hit this little checkbox. It says to defeat five A-bats mushpangs, and then where's the other quest? Okay, so it's all the way over here in Event. We're going to click that. Defeat 15 small A-Bat. Hey, look, a small A-Bat. Okay. Click the... Go to town on it. Attack the A-Bat. Kill the A-Bat. Let the A-Bat know that you are the dominant member of society. Don't pick up any items the A-Bat drops. These are all useless. Don't touch anything. This is garbage. Just kill everything in your pathway. Pro tip number one. Your first 15 levels, nothing matters. Look at how easy this is. I am a professional, ladies and gentlemen. Two taps. Take a seat. One, two. Oh, wait. Hang on. There we go. Two taps and he's dead. Goodbye. Next. Take a seat. Next. Oh, my God. I am. Oh, I critted that one. Wow. That's like a 1% chance. Actually, I think it's 2%. Look, there's not. Don't. Seriously, don't pick up any of the items. There's no point. Hurry up. Kill all of your A-bats. I'll teach you about items later. Let's get a, let's get this. Oh, and let's spend our growth points. I forgot about our growth points. Hit the H key and dump all of your points into strength. If you don't, don't, there's, don't, just don't. Trust me. Spend all of your points on strength. Don't spend your points anywhere else. There we go. So uh, that defeats 15 small A-bats. Now we need to kill five A-bats. Okay, five A-bats coming up. Here's an A-bat. I'm going to kill you. Oh, that one actually blocked me. Okay. He's more powerful than the last opponent we faced. Oh my god, there's like 10,000 of you guys. Um, This way? God, you're so adorable. Thank you. Baby, oh, you're welcome, baby. This is baby's first MMO, and we're slaying little eyeball creatures. Oh, man. Such a classic. There, that handles five A-bats. Now we have to defeat Mushpang. Okay. I'm excited. I've never actually done these quests before. Uh, small mushpang, small mushpang, small. There's a mushpang. All right, so mushpang. Aw, you're adorable. Aw, it died. We leveled up. Spend our points, do this, do that. Mushpang, here we go. Kill it. We did it, guys. We killed all of them. They are all dead. Let's go back. Talk to uh, Vilish and Luda. I guess we'll meet Vilish first because... Um, yeah. Yeah, that sounds good. Let's go talk to her first. She's on the way to Luda. And then she sends you to the other part of town anyway. 
So let's go. So, um, you don't have to do this tutorial. I'm, I'm going to be honest. You don't have to do this tutorial every time you make a new character. In fact, it's, it's a very slow... I don't know if it's even fast. i got to try this out sometime. I've never leveled with it, so I don't know if clicking th through it would help. All right, turn in her quest. My sister's in charge of the soldiers of Keon. Go talk to Tesher. Sounds good. So she gives us an, another quest. Talk to Luda. Hello, Luda. Great, you completed your task wonderfully. I can see that you will be very famous one day. Aw. If you talk to me again, I will give you another task, which will be a little bit harder. I didn't know that you would accomplish... Oh, I didn't know that you could accomplish so much this fast. Who? What can I say? I'm a quick learner. How wonderful. I have one more request for you. There are other monsters around Flareen. They are called Mushpangs. I just killed some of those guys. Wow. Please wipe them out. If you hunt 15 small mushpangs and 15 normal mushpangs, I will give you a reward. Oh, and hold on to any trophies they drop as they will be very useful in the near future. No, they won't be. Don't, don't bother. All right. We're going to also, we're also going to go talk to Tesher because she gives us another quest as well. Oh, look, a green shield. All right, so now that we've hit level three, we can equip our green shield. There we go. Look at that. Oh, that's wonderful. It is three fence posts nailed together. Okay, solid protection. Can't complain. Uh, Tesher, Tesher, where are you? Tesher, uh, here, here she is. Okay, let's go talk to Tesher. Talk to Tesher. Hi, Tesher. Oh my god, excuse me. Hi, Tesher. Do I want to join? Yes, goodbye. Alright, talk to Tomba. Great. Hey, we leveled up again already. Okay. Alright, so Tomba's quest. Tomba says... We have to defeat, we're going to, remember, we're going to open this up, so let's open that up. Defeat Burrodang and Puke Puke. Then come back to meet Tomba. Defeat Small Mushpang and Mushpang, and then meet Luda. Let's go do that. Don't forget to spend your stat points as you level up. Make sure you put them all into strength. Open this up. Oh yeah, I can feel the power that is my character's level increasing. More strength means more damage, means faster kills, means more enemies die at my feet, and I can satiate that sweet, sweet bloodlust. Okay, just want you guys to know, I have a hankering for blood, and the only solution is to kill things. In the game, in the game, you don't have to get so upset. I'm not a murderer in real life. Yeah, you <laughs> Even my wife says, yes, I am. Don't find all of the bodies underneath my house. So look, we're just going to... Where's your house? Where's my house? Wouldn't you like to know? Because then you would find all of the bodies. <laughs> For burying bodies. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I have a house? For burying bodies, of course. <laughs> Guys, just kill all of the Mooshpangs. Yes. I'm also, um... Flife isn't really a game about questing. Pretty much past level 15. Uh, you're gonna kill stuff. Lots of stuff. Hundreds upon thousands of things will die by your hands. You don't really do quests. Did I die? Like me? Thousands of things die by my hands? Pretty much. Pretty much. That's a captain. Oh god, I didn't need to kill that. I just need to kill these guys now. Mushpang, small mushpang. Got it. Good. Get it? Got it. Good. Okay. And a Burudang. Oh, look at that. Burudang. They live next to Mushpang. How simple. 
Another level. Sounds good to me. More strength. Kill this one. This takes a lot longer. <clears throat> uh, I think doing these quests takes a lot longer to do than just simply leveling up, actually. I, I really genuinely... It's been an hour. We probably could have been level 15 by now, actually. Not really sure. Not really sure. Oh, he dropped the... Oh, alright. I was gonna say. I was like, look, he dropped us a new sword, but we don't really need it. Um... We guys, you also probably just just stay away from all of the giant monsters right now. They're not really important. We'll talk about those later as well. One more small mush pang. Where are you? Here's a mush pang. Let's kill this person. I got this guy. Another one. Okay, here we go. Back to back kills. Nice. Nice, guys. Oh, ooh, ooh, another sword. Nope, nothing. Okay. Uh, we defeated all of those. Let's go back to the Brudengu. Here, oh, that's a small. That's also a small. Here they are. We're going to kill ten Brudeng. Very simple. Very easy enemies. Nothing too difficult. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh. oh, yeah. Oh, another sword. Nah, we don't need it. One, one more Borudang. There it is. One more. Hello, goodbye, sir. Alright. So now, uh, we have to defeat five Puke Puke. Oh, look, they're over there. There we go. So let's head up that way. Hey, look, a puke puke. Uh, that's a small puke puke. We need regular, uh, regular puke puke. Nope, nope. Still a small. Oh, that one's a red one. Red enemies. Red enemies are aggressive enemies. They will attack you on sight. If you get too close, they will attack you. See his little. He got a, he got mad at me. That means he wants to attack me. Not a problem. There we go. Alright, puke puke. There we go. We need to defeat five puke puke. I hope they drop us a new weapon, actually, too. That would be nice. I would love a new weapon, Mr. Puke puke. Nah, he's gonna give us a pike suit. I I'll take that. That's a new upgrade for our suit. Yeah, look at that. More defense. Let's equip that. And let's go kill this other guy. Just five of these guys. I like, uh, you know what, I, I do like, I wish Flife did have more quests. They are pretty nice. We'll talk about questing office. Uh, we'll talk about other quests as well. This guy's only hitting me for four damage, too. Holy crap. More strength. More strength means fast kills means more damage. What else did he drop? I guess I could pick up the money. Let's grab the money, too. So we can walk over to the money. I don't care about the lollipops. We just want the money. One more puke puke as well. Look at the giant puke. Okay, look at this guy. Okay, firstly, so aggressive enemies. Look, get too close. Hiya, he wants to attack us. No problem. We'll take him out too. Okay. Okay. Now, um, just so I can demonstrate to you guys, look, uh, giant enemies, enemies are rated based off of the number of circles. Do you see these little bubbles up here? Enemies are rated based off of the bubbles around the target. There are six bubbles. The more bubbles that are filled in, the harder the enemy. So two, two bubbles and three bubbles are simple. You can fight those by yourself. That's actually, it's not a problem. Captain Puke Puke has three bubbles. I can kill him. No problem. See? So so two bubbles, three bubbles, they're all like the same enemy. They don't have a very high attack damage. It's what you're just going to kill all the time. A boss monster has five. 
Uh, five bubbles is probably something that you'll need very good equipment to kill. You should probably be a higher level than it. Uh, this is a level 11 enemy just because I'm crazy. I just want to show you exactly how this works. So without further ado, let's die. Because I'm pretty sure he's going to kill us. Yeah, he's definitely going to kill us. So you can see how much harder he hits. No, Mr. Puke Puke, I died. I... Uh, dying is bad. Don't die, obviously. If you do die, you lose experience points. Um, however, I believe below level... We shouldn't lose anything at below level 15, I don't think. Yeah, so below, just starting out for fresh adventurers like yourself, you don't lose any experience points if you do happen to die. But past this level, uh, you will start to lose EXP as you die. So be careful about attacking giant enemies. Make sure you pick your fights wisely. Don't get yourselves killed, guys. Now... Let's go back and complete our quests. So we defeated the Burdudang, the Puke Pukes, the Small Mushpangs, and the Mushpangs. We have a whole list of things to do. This is good. Talk to Luda. It appears there are no monsters that can threaten you around Flareen. Well, the giant Puke Puke was a threat and he kicked our asses. It's time for you to step out into the world and show them your true power. Your adventure has just started. All right. We received 10,000 Pena. Cool. All right, um, we no longer need this cotton suit, so I'm going to sell that. And while we're here, do I want this? Let's buy a weapon upgrade. Yeah, let's buy a weapon upgrade anyway. Let's buy this hand claw. Not that we need it, but you know what? It helps, so let's do that. And then I no longer, I don't need the long sword anymore because now we have a hand claw, so that's good. I like it. Little pointy, stabby, stabby thing. So that's, um, yeah, that looks like that's done. That's easy. Let's go continue then. It looks like that's it for the tutorial missions that they give you. Let's go talk to, uh, Tesher or Tomba and fight for the soldiers of Kion. Hiya. Hiya. We jump very high. Very nice. Oh, that's right. We lost all of our buffs. Oh, no. Guys, we died. We have to... <gasps> Looks like we lost all of our buffs. I totally forgot about that. So let's go get our buffs again. Guys, anytime, anytime you lose your buffs, just come talk to the buff pang. He gives you more. We want them. They are very important to us. Okay, talk. Get buffed. Jack us up, Scotty. You got it, Chief. All right. Well, very cool people. Very cool people. We run fast. That guy's name is Prio. Hello, Prio. You're very powerful man. All right. So. It never. Oh. Guys, it never explained what skill points are. The tutorial mission didn't explain anything about skills. Okay, see, I am glad. I am glad that we did it because it didn't explain. It didn't explain skills yet. Well, that's funny. Okay, you didn't actually think you could do it. Well, you've earned. My Maybe it'll be later. Well, I'll, I'll I'll see if it's later. We'll we'll see if it's later. All right, talk to Tesher. Now, hands down, guys, these these quests are some of the fastest quests that you can do. Um, you definitely want to always do this chain every time I level up, unless unless your character has vastly superior equipment just starting out. You do want to do these quests. Um, I've never created myself a vagrant set for leveling up new characters. Uh, it's it's not that hard. It's something we can definitely do later because it's very important, and I'll talk about what that equipment set is. But just starting out, it's definitely important to talk to Vileesh and follow this quest chain. It levels you up to 15 very quickly and is a great way to start out the game because it also uh, gets you something to do rather than just going out into the world and killing enemies that you don't know about. So the next quest the next quest she gives you is to meet Hashal or Hatchel. Hashal? Yeah, Hashal. And uh, if you open up your map, you can see that there are quests 
in these locations already for us to grab. So they're available for us. And then quests that we have completed or people that we need to talk to, it's very standard MMO fare. The person with a question mark is a quest that we have done. So we're going to head to that area. Um, and before we do that, I'm going to put the stream on hold because I have to use the bathroom. So we'll be right back after the break. Wow, pot roast poker. How did you get that? That is a cool little, look at that. It's all, it's all flashy. Check you out. Thank you. Did you just, wait, what did you do? Did you give me some, did you give me some cheer my way? Good sir. Yes, you did. Yes, love. I, I need the light. We can't see. I need, the, I need the light here. Pot roast poker. Hey, thank you for the bits, my guy. Welcome, welcome to the Fife tutorial today. All right, continuing on. I appreciate that. Yeah, hit him with the what up, guys. Go, 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 go. Hang on, Kill Force, I'm joining you. I'm joining you. Eh. <laughs> That's for getting me drunk at your wedding. <laughs> what? <laughs> Who? What, baby? I need that for the camera light. <laughs> You're very welcome for getting drunk at my wedding. <laughs> I don't, I, baby. Their name is Pot Roast Poker. I don't know. I don't know. If I knew, I would say. Yes, I would. Why would I not tell you who this is? <laughs> oh, love. Oh, love. I have to figure out who you are? Okay. Well, if you were at my wedding, you are undoubtedly one of my cousins. 100%. <laughs> Definitely one of my cousins. Now, if I had to guess... If I had to guess... Chris. Sounds about right. It's probably Chris. Oh, not Chris. Chris does not live in Ohio. Hang on. John. You're married to one of them. Well, is this Nikki? Brandy. No, 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 no. Darren. Who? Skipper? Nah, it ain't Uncle Skip. It ain't Uncle Skipper. He doesn't drink that heavily. Darren. That's my final answer. Yeah, me either. There's like so many of them. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. There's like five of you. All right, continuing his quest. I see. I was. I said that. <laughs> I said John. I said you're married to my cousin, Nikki. Nah, John. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, brother. 
<laughs> How you doing? Guys, we're gonna kill... Looky, he says we need to get a peaky rind. So let's kill some peaky turtles. Which look like armadillos. They're not even turtles. Like, what is this? Not turtles. Uh, we need to find a peaky... <gasps> oh! Hello. We'd like the upgrades. Here's a light shield. Let's equip that. Looks good. Alright, continuing on. Continuing our journey to slaying all of the enemies and becoming the greatest flifers of them all. We wanna be the very bad. Wait, wait, wait. That that's that's a mm, 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 mm. that's a taken theme song. We don't play Pokemon. Let's grab this guy. Still looking for a Peaky Rind. Peaky Rind? No Peaky Rind. Next. Come on, Peaky Rind. I want to do questing. How are y'all doing in Ahaya? How's, how, it's it's on lockdown. I know it's everything on lockdown. I'm being under attack by two enemies. Oh God! No no no! I kill you too. There's a peak. Aha! He also dropped a peaky rind. Looky there, guys. Look, peaky rind. I accept. We only need one. Hatchell only needs one. He says. So now that we're done, talk to Hachal. You've definitely helped take out the dirty work. Okay. Can I report back to Tesher? Yes. Yes, I can. Guys, so now, um, instead of us running all the way back to town, in your inventory, the game does start you off with these guys. They're town blink wings. We're going to use one of those town blink wings. We're going to teleport back to town. It's a very quick, very fast way to teleport. And we're going to go back to town just like that. See? Very good. Let's go talk to Tasha. Hmm, Tasha. Hello. I'm actually surprised we're only level 8. Usually by this time, I'm already level 8 as well. So even though we've done more, I've, I've killed a lot of stuff. <laughs> Drinking while, while, while playing online poker. <laughs> that sounds like a good... That sounds like a good day. Can't go wrong with that. See, I'm happy. I'm happy that I was able to get to stream at a different time. And now people can come watch. See, people, you can, you can come see me. Where's, uh, where's, where's my other cousins at, Nat? You're the only one that loves me. <laughs> Talk to Tesher. Hello. This is going on YouTube, by the way. Don't say anything you don't want out in YouTube land. But that's okay. I'll just label it as not made for children. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a good life to me. Um, what did I just do? All right, all right. So we talked to, to we we turned in our research. We talked to Tesher. She wants us to run up this hill to talk to Rudhivil. He is a very rude person, Rudhivil. I talk to you, Rudhivil. Hello. Yes. Hi. All right, he's a very mean person. I don't, I don't, I don't want to learn uh, about all this. Let's go this way. Talk to Tashar. I love it. Okay. Now, more stat points. Well, hello. I accept the strength that is bestowed upon me. And now, she wants us to go kill Demian. What do we do when we don't know where an enemy is? That's right, we check our map. Look at this. Yeah, region, Flaris, map, Damien. Look at that. He's right here. Now we have to run there. Let's go to kill the children. If you read that quest line too, it's a genuinely shocking quest line. I don't know what it is about uh, I, something about if you're evil, if you're a bad child... You get turned into an evil urchin Demian. Okay, that's what these kids are. Read the quest. Here, let me see this. No, she doesn't say anything. Whatever, we'll, we'll read it later. Apparently, these were children that turned evil, and now they are monsters. C cool. 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 Children? Sounds like a grim fairy tale to me. Look how shiny our shield is. Oh my god. It's got four large screws in it. We upgraded a shield. 
We upgraded our shield from f six nails to four screws. <laughs> Alright, there's Urchin Damien. We, we need just Damien's. Aha, here they are. Good day, sir. How are you, bad child? I'm gonna spank your bottom with a sword. Also by spank, I mean slash you to pieces. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Children are maggots. Matilda. <laughs> oh my god. I remember that movie. Very, very briefly I remember that. I, I, I remember the scene where she's like dancing. Dan they're doing the conga line. They, you know. Come on, nan. That do da da dee dun da dance. Something or another. I, I watched it when I was like five. I, I, very, I very briefly remember Matilda. Very, very briefly. I don't think I liked that movie. Actually, now that I think... Ooh, wait, wait, wait. wait. Oh, 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 oh. Nah, we don't need it. I already have one of these. See? See, we already, we already have this. We don't need that. Let's kill this one. <laughs> they make little squishy noises. Oh, what's that? Nah, we already have that too. Look. Nothing. Come on. Come on, Damien. Give me something good that we can work with here, man. Give us something good to eat. That one didn't drop us anything at all. That was the broke one, apparently. Just like me. What? Oh my gosh. Five more. I'll pick up the Pena. Why not? We don't even need to pick up the Pena, but... They drop such a sm At this level, they drop such a small amount of it, there's just no point. You know? Like, I can't... It's, it's a waste of time right now to pick up Pena. That one's dead, too. So we don't need to worry about it. We don't even take... We're not even taking uh, damage, which I'm actually surprised about because when I did this before, I was getting floored by these guys. I was getting stomped on. All right. The heck was that noise? With the Damien's defeated, guys, we're going to Town Blinkwing one more time. I'm not going to run all the way back. So we used our first Town Blinkwing once we beat uh, defeated Hashel. We should have used a f we should have used our first one after the puke pukes. I should clarify, we should have used our first one after the puke pukes. But uh, I decided to die by attacking the giant, which gave us a free teleport back to town. So kudos to us for using in-game mechanics to teleport for freeze because we don't lose exp. Um, then once we got the hatch hall, we used another blink wing, so that teleported us back, and then we just used one of the blink wings to teleport from the Demians, allowing us to save some time. And work our way back faster. So let's talk to Tishar. Hello, Tishar. You can ignore these two. Don't do those two quests. They're also useless. You do not need to do them. Talk to Tesher. You killed all of them. Yes, I did. Goodbye. Talking to Tesher, she says talk to Rudeville. Rudeville. He says that I like to talk to people. No, he does not. He is an evil man. Bad Rudeville. Okay, more strength. Rudeville says what he actually does say is that the Damien were not the problem. Okay, and we don't need this shield anymore, so we're going to sell the shield. Uh, he actually says that uh, he, he was laughing, that Tesher thought the children were the problem. The children were not the problem. The problem is that he needs money. So for him to get his money, we have to go talk to a guy called Has uh, Hastan. And unfortunately, Hastan is not listed. See that? So, to find Hastan or Hassan, I don't know how they how they say their names. Find him at the High Dwarpet campsite. Well, one of the problems with Flyf is that through the years, through the many renditions of the game. Somehow, some way, they forget to update things. So this is the this is the campsite for the high dwarpets. 
they used to be a part of a quest line where you would actually use them for your job change quest. You would have to go find a skill book. The skill book would spawn somewhere in the middle of here. There was one out here by the fountain. Like There was a whole adventure. I actually missed that. Oh my god. There was a whole adventure behind your job change quest. They would go send you to get a book. You would have to go get a book. Then you would bring that back. You would talk to the high dwarf pets. Then he would tell you that you need to go prove yourself by defeating a special enemy. The special enemies are still in the game. They just don't serve a purpose. There's no reason. No, really? Really? You want to go? You want to go? You want to... I'll throw down. Get out of my face, level 8. I'm level 11, and you gonna get your butt kicked. He tried to run away. He couldn't. Got him. Alright. See? So, uh, making sure making sure that we come to this place right here. This is where he is located. So, let's talk to Hastan. Alright. For him to extract some gold. There we go. Looks like we need to defeat 10 Dora Doma, 10 La Wolfs. I wonder where those enemies could be. Oh, wait. We have a map for that. Uh, small Dora Doma, Dora Doma, Captain Dora Doma, Giant Dora Doma, Dora Doma, 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 Doma. Right here. La Wolfs are right up the hill. So we're going to start with the lower level enemy. We're going to kill 10 Dora Doma. Yes. Sounds good. Aha, here's one. Let's kill it. I keep hitting the wrong button as well. We'll talk about skill points. When you're a vagrant, uh, when you're a vagrant, there's no point. There's no point to doing it. Uh, we don't need that. The wife is good. She's asleep. I guess, kinda. She's napping? Yeah, she shrugs. She's kinda napping. She's sitting next to me, listening to me stream. So she's, she's trying to nap, but you know, I'm a pretty loud person. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so, yeah, maybe not so much napping, but she's good. Otherwise, she's losing her mind with the teaching. All the teachers down here, they got put to, uh, because of COVID, they got put to work at home status, of course. And, you know, we're on lockdown now, too. So they get online instruction, and then all the teachers have to put together classroom videos. They got to make all of their instruction online now. They have to do all of these extra work suddenly, and it's a, a huge stress factor. Huge stress factor. Nothing that anybody should have to put up with. Let's actually grab this bag of money. There we go. So I grabbed a bag of money. Rose helmet. We'll skip. Kill this guy. Yeah, but other than that, she's good. We're doing good. Oh, look. This one wants a piece of me, too. Ah, oh, come on. Come on, Dora Doma, you just spawned in. And you're aggressive? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. We'll kill the we'll kill this enemy. God, I remember this stuff used to take. I feel like uh without the buffs, man. This definitely takes a lot longer. The buffs make all the difference in the world, I think. If you don't have buffs from the buff pang, this game was hard. Teacher should. I agree, man. I agree. I don't know why they get paid. I, it, I mean, and it depends. It depends on the state. I imagine some areas of Ohio probably pay a little bit better, but like, yeah, it seems like that. Man, down here, pfft, I could go work at McDonald's and earn more money if I was a, like a, a shift manager, not like a starting out kind of guy. You got to be like a shift manager to make that kind of money. But definitely, I could work at McDonald's and make more money than a teacher. Poop on your four-year college degree, teachers. Ha, 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 ha. I don't have what I actually... I was a teacher. I have a college degree, but I mean, like... What was the point? What was the point? I can earn more money. That's an argument for another time. Let's go kill La Wolves. So right across the hill here, let's kill a La Wolf. Oh, yes. This was... I remember killing these guys ad nauseum for, like, ever. It felt like... It felt it felt like we were spending a lot of time killing La Wolves. He's hitting me for 45s. Oh my god. I don't like this. These guys actually hurt. Just like that. Boom. Damage on. <laughs> Whew. Okay. I don't like it. I 
I didn't know you were from Bethel. I didn't know that at all. Jeez, we actually have to eat food. Is this an upgrade? Oh, it is an upgrade. New weapon. All right. Now we're cooking. Uh, I don't need these. I don't know why I picked them up, but we definitely want... We want the strawberry shakes. And we're going to equip that. Sweet. Look at that. New axe. <clears throat> there we go. Now we're cooking. Look, we just do... We do a lot more damage. We do a lot more damage. I wish, I wish they could make six figures. What is this, a round shield? Is this better than the light shield? 42 to 40, a little bit better. We'll pick this up. This is a little bit of an upgrade. Oh, it's not as fancy though. Look, 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 this one's nice and shiny. This one is not. <laughs> Poop. But uh, upgrade is upgrade, so we're gonna equip it. We'll gain a little bit more defensive points. And that should help with just a teensy bit. Maybe like one point of damage. Oh, I blocked. Oh, and he missed. Oh, he didn't even hit us. All right. All right. <laughs> yeah, buddy. All right. Let's get to it. Six figures would be great, guys. Oh, my God. If we had six figure teachers, maybe people would actually want to be teachers. My graduating class, when I graduated for being a teacher, f 15 of us? A round shield plus one. Well, don't mind if we do. I'll take a round shield plus one. Upgrades are upgrades. Fantastic. Yeah. Why is there a three next to your name? Because you're a tier three bit giver? It should be a 100. I'm not sure why it's not a 100. But because you gave bits, you supported the channel, and so now people can see that you supported the channel. Isn't that neat? If you subscribe, you get badges. There's all kinds of stuff you get. All kinds of things. Badges. Oops. I turned myself down. Badges. Emotes. Um... That's about that's about all I got. Badges and emotes seems to be about the only thing that I have offered for you about at this time. But we're working on it. We're going to unlock more. Don't die. Drink the Slurpee. Whew. I'm glad that I have a... Uh, picked up some strawberries. Oh, we're done. Okay, good. Oh, all right. I got to kill this last one because he aggroed to me. Let's kill this last one. But there we go. We completed our 10 kills. I got distracted. I was, uh, I'm having great conversation here in the chute. Uh, oh, oh, I'm glad we did kill that guy. We just got uh, gauntlets. Yeah, look at that. Ooh, that should help a lot. Gotta love when you get gear upgrades. Yeah, that'll help our defense. Look at that. That's a lot more defense. Actually, now I am curious. How much would these hit now? They were striking us for 44 before. What is this now? 20. Hit me again. 36. Okay, so like 10 less damage. Still pretty good. Oh, I'm going to take that strawberry shake too. Give me that. Such weird items in this game. Who wants a strawberry shake? I do. Talk to Hastan. Okay, precious gold. Please deliver it for me. Guys, for one final time. Second to last time. Use a blink wing. Back to town. Talk to Rudeville. Turn in this quest. And keep on rocking. We might have to buy more. We actually might have to buy more blink wings. They only give us five to start. And it's like, ugh, that's not enough. But don't don't worry, they're cheap. We definitely have enough money to buy a couple more when we need them. We still got two more, so we don't have to worry about it yet. But when, we'll hit that, uh, when we get to that roadblock, I'll show you where to buy more. Because blink wings are sold here. Every magic shop sells town blink wings. You talk to any magic store. They're all different names. Go over here to where it says magic tools. And here you can buy your blink wings. Now a town, um, a town, town blink wing teleports you to the nearest town. 
really you're just going to use Flaris Blink Wings or Flaris Blink Wings and those are the kind we're going to buy. I'm just going to get I'm going to pick up 5 more of these because we are going to use them later. So we're going to pick up 5 of those and let's get back to questing. So uh Rudeville at the top of the uh, here we go. He lives in a mansion. Aren't you a rich fellow? Good day, sir. Can I live in your house? I would like to know how is it that you live up here and everybody else lives in these tiny little homes? Wretch bastard. Because I'm giving him gold. I could have kept that gold. What the heck? All right. So after we turn in the gold to Rudeville, he's all like, Oh, yes, I love you guys. I love that you gave me money. Anybody can be bought with money, obviously. Turn in his quest. Come talk to Tesher. She says to go talk to Gigantes. Goodbye. Remember, if we don't know where to go, guys, hit the M button. And there we go. So on the map, it says Gigantes is over here next to this nice question mark. Let's go to there. Run, run, run as fast as we can. Run and run away into the night. And something about if we find each other, we'll fall to the ground and make sweet love. Shh. I think we're alone now. Shut up, GK. Nobody wants to hear you sing. Got it. Got it, guys. Don't worry. I understand. I guess we should sell here. Um, trade. There we go. So any shop, uh, it's, there, guys, you, if you trade any shop, as long as the shop has a trade function, you can sell them any item. You don't have to sell items specifically to any store. So we just uh, sell this stuff off. We don't need any of this anymore. So we're just going to get rid of it all. I don't need vital drinks, but we're going to keep, we're going to keep the rest of that. So we want the strawberry shake for heels. Hello, Gigantes. Oh, he's a drunk man. All right. Very good. Gigantes says... Meet Sco... Uh, S the heck is this guy's name? S -S -O -T 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 -A. This guy's got two S's and three T's in his name. One of the T's is capitalized in the middle of his name. Sota. He's just got a different name. Maybe he's not English. S S O T T T A. Who am I to judge? Am I the name judge? No. I am GK, but humble streamer. I care not for what his name is. I just want to talk to him and get quest and get EXPs and level up my character much powers. Hello, sir. All right, complete his quest. Whoa, yeah, I always, I always forget this. Um, he, he, he says a bunch of ran look. Obviously, he says a bunch of random stuff. Just, just hit, just hit new quest. Just hit new quest. Make sure we select the novelist and his drink part two, and then click OK. Goodbye. All right, looks like we leveled up fourteen. One more level. After we talk to him, he's going to tell us to go meet Dr. Esli near the haunt of Niang Niang. Niang. Niang Niang. That means like cat or something. I don't know what it means, but they are cat people. Uh, he also is not on the world map. I'll show you where Dr. Esli is. Don't worry. Dr. Esli is a character. He appears in something called the haunt of Niang Niang. It is not on the map. We can't even uh, zoom in and out. I'm not sure why he isn't listed. He's going to be across this bridge, so we're going to go across this bridge here, across the River of Weeping, and somewhere right around the T is where Dr. Esley lives, so that's where we're going to, he's like some guy, he's standing underneath a tree, so we're going to go grab that, oh my gosh, how long have we been, yeah, we definitely, look, it's been an hour and 42 minutes, we definitely would have been level 15 by now it does not take that long to reach level 15 but we were playing around with the uh the tutorial pang i didn't even know he existed frankly one of my one of my other guild mates he was like hey should i just be following the quest pang and i was like the who now he's like the pang it tells you all these quests and i'm like i i didn't know they existed i guess but they were fun it was like a little new spin on the things 
I'm going to avoid this puke coop too. I don't feel like fighting it. Yeah, I don't feel like fighting it. Let's continue on. I want a job change. I want to learn what type of jobs there are for us to be. There are four jobs in the game. Speaking of which, four jobs to start. Each of those jobs then becomes two additional jobs. So there are eight in total. But you only have four to start. Let's refresh our... You know what? Let's refresh too. There we go. So run across the river of weeping. Don't worry if you fall down. You guys can't take fall damage. See? Plus you can scale mountains. Check this out. Get up there. I know you can get up there. Don't tell me you can't. I've done this a thousand and one times. Oh, come on. This reminds me of that game where you're that guy and he's stuck in the pot and he's using a pickaxe. I, 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 don't, I don't remember what the name of the game is called. But he's the guy and, you know, you try to catch... He's climbing and, and you try to climb as high as you can and he's a guy in a pot. There we go. See, I told you, you can scale it. What's it matter if you fall down a hole? Hey, I'm trapped in a well. Don't worry. In life, you can climb up fucking cliffs. Stuck in a well? No problem. Climb the side of it. We live in the life world. Welcome to Madrigal, ladies and gentlemen. Where the walls are high, but your jumps are higher. Dr. Esley. Oh, I totally lied to you guys. Did I say he was by the T? I meant he's over here. By the O. Ah, 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 don't attack me. Thank you. Dr. Esley, good day, sir. I always imagined he's Australian. There's like five Esley brothers. Just like there's ten Boboku brothers. The Bobokus are Texas. And I always imagine... I don't know. Dr. Esley just strikes me as an Australian fellow. I don't know why. Alright. Terran Roots. Kill some of these guys. That hurt. 51 damage. Oh my god. Oh good. We got an upgrade. Oh, well, thank you, sir. Don't mind if I do. I guess I should have stopped at the store and purchased us more equips. Eh. Yeah, look, that are look, it reduced the damage to 39. Nice. As he critically strikes us and hits me for 130. Yikes. Got to persevere though. Let's keep killing. Oh god, an enemy just respawned on us. We're okay. We're okay. Okay, look. We had food. We're fine. We had food. We're good. Pick up all the items. La 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 la. I didn't need that. Vital drinks and refreshers. Don't need them. Not as a vagrant. Not as a vagrant. I'm stuck. Come on. Sometimes these enemies cast rooting. And it sucks. This is the toughest, this is the, like, the last, this is, like, the last of the quests, too. As soon as we get the drink for Novelist Gigantes, we'll be level 15. There's one. See? Terran Root. That's what we're looking for, to be able to make beer. We're making alcohol West Virginia style. It's moonshine. This ain't no Kentucky bourbon. The, oh, an Einer suit. Well, hello, sir. I equipped that too. Look and fly. Now our defense should be really high. Yeah, look at that. Ten more points of damage off. Perfect. Oh, good. We're definitely going to be able to... I won't even have to pick up food anymore. We'll just be able to truck these guys. As I miss every... Ooh. This is better. Uh, maybe. Let me take that... Hang on. This might be an upgrade. I don't think it is. We're going to try it. Terran Root number three. Penures? I'll take the food though. Alright. I know that swords I know that swords attack faster. So right now our attack speed is 54%. And we have 278 attack. So we still attack at 54% attack speed and lost 40 points of damage. I don't think the Parmal Sword is better than the Rodney Axe. 
This is definitely not better. There we go. Yeah, that's better. Is this... Now we got a Parmal Sword plus two. That, that might be better. This actually might be better. 248. No, it is not. Really? Okay. Well, at least he gave us a uh, Terran route, and that completes our quest. All right. Let's go up here. We're going to re-equip that Rodney Axe. And... Well, hello, Dr. Esley. It's good to see you. I got the Terran roots. I did. Yes. Level 15. Level 15. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. We got a level 15. Yeah. Guys, we now can job change. All right. Once we hit level 15, what does he say? He says... Hi there, I'm InfoPang. Yes, we know who you are. We saw you earlier in this episode. You can transfer your job to the four classes. They are Mercenary, Magician, Acrobat, or an Assist. Complete the job transfer quest in order to job transfer. Be sure to visit the trainer for each job. Okay, that's simple enough. Guys, for one final time, we're going to use a Town Blinkwing. Usually you use all five of them by now. This would be your fifth one, but because we decided to kill ourselves against the giant puke puke earlier in the episode, we got a free teleport back to town. And there we go. All of the... Um, as soon as you hit level 15, do not go complete your quests. You can't earn any more experience points. You are stuck at level 15 until you complete your job change. That's what we're going to go do. We're going to talk a little bit about the classes here. Um and uh, give you a quick explanation of what each of them are. Now, for many new players, I'm going to kind of list them from easiest to most difficult in my recommendation on what you should start with, especially if you're a player that just started the game. A lot of the time, you don't have money to spend. Um, my allotment is $15 a month, so uh, if you have more, you certainly can spend more on gear upgrades or, or for your character. I don't recommend that at the start. There's not, really, uh, there's not really a point to maximizing your character's power this early on. You're going to replace all of those items anyway. So if you do spend money on the game, that's for a whole nother video. Um, that's for other things. So as a new player, don't, don't go throw money, money at the game yet because knowing what to buy is important. But let's talk about uh, the classes. Your, your, your four basic classes, the mercenary is your standard. If you like swords and axes, mercenary is all for you. Mercenaries have the highest attack power in the game if you go blade. If you're a blade at level 60, that's the new job that you get. They have the most attack damage. They are a blast to play because they dual wield. I don't, I don't know a lot of people that don't like running around with two axes or two swords and chopping things to bits. I mean, I love it. I have a blade. And uh, the other class is the knight. The knight is a character that uses a two-handed sword and a two-handed axe. Both of those weapons are great, and you can use a two-handed sword. If you're into swinging a big weapon very quickly, you can go knight. If you're into being a big, beefy tank and taking lots of damage, you can also go knight. So if you like that stuff, that's the mercenary for you. The assist, we can do a deep dive too. The assist is a character... Uh, they use two very unique weapons uh, of any MMO. The first is a stick, and it sounds really weird, but the sticks are awesome. So you use sticks to buff yourself. You can also hit people with them. You're not going to do that. You're going to use a knuckle. And knuckles are these big fists, and you're going to punch people to death. They can become ringmasters or bill posters. Ringmasters have a lot more buffs to give to people while a Bill poster can uh, punch things a lot harder. So if you're into punching things, buffing people, assist. They are the easiest class to level up if you go bill poster. If you're choosing to be a ringmaster, not so easy to level up because you're completely reliant essentially on other people to level you because of the way you build your character. So if you like to punch things, this is always a first-time character for me. Go with a bill poster. They are very easy to level up solo, and you don't need a lot of funding for them. They're great, great class. Acrobats. One of these classes is really good. The other one is a total garbage pile of crap. Sorry, jesters. You are. 
Guys, acrobats come in two forms. You can use either a yo-yo, which is a great weapon as well, or a bow. Bows, uh, acrobats in general are weaker than blades, but they are like the second highest damage dealers in the game. They still do really well. They have a lot of tricks. They're a fun class. It's interesting. If you're into yo-yos and bows, these are the guys you're going to pick. Um, they are both... For first-time players, don't use a yo-yo. It's the hardest class in the game to level up. It is pure dog shite. Okay? They require a lot of funding to do any amount of damage. They, uh, they're not that powerful until they get better equips, and they're very difficult to level up. A bow, on the other hand, you're totally fine. This is also a great first pick. A bow, you just put all of your points in dexterity. You shoot stuff. They die. It's great. You block everything. You never take damage. Hallelujah for no damage, and, 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 you'll, and you'll be totally fine. So if you're into using bows or into using yo-yos, or if you're a masochist and you want to use a yo-yo because you're absolutely mind-numbingly insane, and I don't know why you would, you're going to go acrobat. That's the good one. Uh, so hardest, hardest to level up if you choose a yo-yo. We're not going to pick an acrobat. Magician trainer. Uh, mages, mages come in two forms. You're either going to be a side keeper or an elementalist. Super easy to level up with. They hit really hard. All you're going to do is max out your mental strike. You're going to go to town on people. You're pretty much two shot all of your enemies all the way to level 60 and absolutely decimate your opponents. Past level 60, that's when they require a little bit more advanced knowledge on how to level up because you're not going to simply use one spell to kill one enemy at a time. You're going to AoE. Pre still pretty simple. Not hard to pick up and master, but uh, not a not a good first time pick, I think. I think that uh, this, this one requires a little bit more technical knowledge of how the game is played, so I wouldn't recommend a mage first. You're probably going to want to stick to either an assist or a mercenary. I'm going to pick... What haven't I been yet? I've been almost everything. I have a character of almost all classes except an elementer. And a knight, kind of. Yeah, uh, we're going to pick a knight. We're going to pick a mercenary anyway. I'm going to do mercenary. Let's do that. Um, so if you want to be a mercenary, let's talk to the mercenary trainer Xandark and become mercenaries. Congratulations, you are level 15, but you cannot stay a vagrant. You are correct. I want a job change. I want to be more powerful. I want to be a mercenary so I can use swords or axes. You got it. Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye. All right. So, mercenary. We need to talk to the mercenary master he is over here so once you talk to those guys talk to any of the classes that you want to be i'm surprised there's is it, I, I thought there'd be a description of the classes actually it's fine it's fine pick what you want to be i'm choosing a mercenary what did i say for a bill poster I said, I said that the easiest, easiest to level up for a first-time player, they don't require a lot of funding. You can buff yourself. Uh, you'll, you'll keep your health high. You can heal yourself. Not tech, not like you would when you're in the middle of combat. You're really not going to heal yourself. Um, but yeah, build posters don't require a lot of funding. For a first-time player, they're great. They're super fun. I like punching stuff. I already have a bill poster on this account, though. So I'm not going to make a second one because I already, I already have one. So I'll, I'll show you what that is uh, later. But once we talk to that guy, come over to Northern Flareen. Talk to this guy. Obviously, it depends on what class you pick. That's great. They're going to send us on a quest. Open this up. Go to the general. And he wants us to gather five twinkle stones. Guys, twinkle stones drop from a bats. If you don't know that, you can check your map. Yay, map. So if you ever okay, so if you're ever wondering, wait a second, well what what, what enemies drop which items? Well, according to our monster details, if we take a look at a bats, it says they drop twinkle stones. Woo! So let's go kill them. Hello, Abat. I need to kill you because I need a twinkle stone. There's one. Sweet. Here's two. Yep, 
theirs too. Take his money. Number three. See how easy it is? It's not... I remember, this used to be way, 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 way harder. Uh, another one. Another one bites the dust. Psh, psh. Another one bites the dust. Psh, psh. And number five. That was quick. Five kills, five twinkle stones. We are done. Uh, next, go back. Go back to town. I don't know why I'm doing that. Don't ask me. Shut up. <laughs> I just like to make random noises. And we're done. As soon as we talk to her. Hello, madam. Why, yes, I w Wow, Twinkle Stones. You are the 1,137th vagrant to pass the test today. <coughs> Doubt. Okay. Uh, with that, talk to her again. Here is a note. Thank you. Talk to Xandark. Oh, look, she even says, look at this. Come here. Becoming mercenary number 13,213. <coughs> Doubt. All right, we're good. There we go. There we go, guys. That's the first 15 levels of Flife. We're done. What happens next? So we just became a mercenary. All of the stat points that you spent in strength, which is why I tell you to spend all of your stat points in strength, you get those refunded for your character because now if you choose to become a magician, you get all of your stat points back so that you can put them into intelligence or if you become an acrobat, you can put them into dexterity and you just get to put them into whatever stats that you want. So it's uh, very important that we uh, just spend them all in strength up until level 15, don't worry about it. You're going to get your points back. We also have access to new skills, thanks to our skill tree. You don't need these. Okay? You don't need these. Now you can use your actual first job skills. And again, that's, that's for videos of a different time. Um, because each class is different, of course. Each build is different. And you're just going to use, there's, you know, you're not going to all use the same thing. For us, now that we're level 15, as a mercenary, you... Now I'm not sure. I want to say that we just want to be full strength, but if we do that, we also aren't going to hit very often. But we'll hit for a whole lot of damage. I don't see why not. Let's just do that. Let's do full strength. I've never been full strength, so I'm curious as to how it'll work out. So I'm going to do that. So I put all... Mercenaries do damage with physical damage. So if you're a physical damage class, strength increases the amount of physical damage that you do. See? Increases the attack power of your weapon, except for a wand. And that's it. All right. Um, let's continue on. Now that we're job changed, now we can continue questing. So we can come here and talk to Sota. Turn in that quest. Get a little bit of EXP. I didn't mean to do that. I do not want to do Dory Dory Sushi Quest, so please get rid of it. I didn't mean to accept that. And that's it. Any other quests? No. That looks good. And voila! Level 15, guys. So, what else do we got? What else do we got? Uh, nothing new. He d he didn't explain anything new. With that out of the way, pretty much from here on out, you're going to kill monsters that are pretty close to your level. You guys can explore. You can find out what this is about. Quest Office allows you to turn in quest items. I'll let you guys figure that out because it's a, it's a pretty self-explanatory thing. She gives you a quest. You do the quest. That's what we've been doing this whole time. All we have to do now is... Uh, is this Play Park? Yeah, this one's Play Park. We're on Lord Pang server. And uh, unfortunately, once you hit level 15, you're done. The game has... There are other quests, but they're done holding your hand. They're kind of like, hey, go play the game. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to go play the game. That's what I'm going to go do. Get this under the way. 
Um, let's buy ourselves a new weapon, though. I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure we can get ourselves some sweet, sweet level 15 armor. Um, so. Hello. Yeah, we can. All right. Let's sell the stuff we don't need. I don't need this stuff. I don't need cotton boots. Uh, we'll keep our food for right now. I don't, uh, we're not going to buy food. These items. So these items do certain things. This one is you don't lose fighting points. I don't really use, when I play a mercenary or any of the other classes, I don't really use skills to level up anymore. Um, it's just an outdated leveling method because you hit so much harder just by auto-attacking everything, so there's not much of a point to this. Uh, I, I just delete them, frankly, so that I'm just going to get rid of it because I'm not going to use it. This one, same thing. I don't use skills, so... As a mercenary, I'm not going to use this item either. I'm just going to get rid of that. <sighs> I can use the reskill later, so I'll just put this in my backpack. So the backpack you open up with B, you have access to these five slots. You can buy additional bag slots. Not, not entirely necessary, but for right now, I'm just going to put that in there. And uh, this is an item that gives us bonus HP. Cool. We have bonus HP now. Yay. So we shouldn't really be dying anytime soon. Hello, Howard. How are you? Let's talk to Baboku. Let's get ourselves some sweet... Do we even have enough money for all of this stuff? Yeah, we do. Okay. Mythic helmet. Mythic boots. Mythic gauntlets. And a suit. Total price, 8200 bucks. Yes. I want to buy this, sir. Now, of course, it depends on your class, guys. Uh, there's mercenary armor, assist armor, acrobat armor. We are mercenary. That's what we get. Oh, yeah. All right. Now we look the parts. Let's sell our old armor. We don't need our old armor anymore, so let's get rid of that. Sell that stuff. Oh, yeah. There we go. And a new weapon, perhaps? Yeah, there are. All right, what do we got? Shyadid Axe, the Blink Sword, Kerning Axe, and Petal Sword. Now, uh, these these two weapons are cheaper. We have plenty of money. We're just going to buy the best weapon that we can. I'm going to get... I guess I'm going to get a Shyadid Axe, actually. I don't really... I like axes. I'm going to buy the axe. I'm an axe guy. Get out of here. Equip our axe. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. It looks great. This is a terrible weapon. Look at that thing. Did, 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 did you even attach this? What did you do? It looks like he just shaped the axe head and then shoved it into the handle. But you know what? It gets the job done. Whatever. It's all good. I'm going to stab people with this weapon. Turn in our Rodney axe. We don't need that anymore. Maybe there's a new shield. Oh, there's weapons in here, too. Oh, right, but they're for vagrants. We don't need these weapons. Those are for vagrants. Yeah, we don't need those weapons, but we do need the shield. Aha. This is better than ours. Yes, perfect. Let's buy a sentinel shield. That pretty much chewed up all of our money. Yes. Sweet. Trade. Sell that. Bam. Guys, we're ready. Oh, yeah. I'm feeling the power. Let's take a look at our new skills. Like I said, leveling up, uh, leveling up by auto attacking. That's pretty much. That's pretty much the guaranteed way to do it. You're not going to use. You're not. You're not going to use these skills, guys. Uh, takes too long. We're going to skip that. Here's what we are going to do. We do need this. So it looks like skills have different pieces. They require different skills in order to unlock them. If you look to unlock Pan Barrier, it says that we need the protection skill of level 3. So we're going to also need protection skill level 5 for when we unlock Empower Weapons. So we're going to take protection here. I'm going to go to 5 with this. I'm going to click OK. And voila, so now we have level 5 protection. Of course, the, higher, uh, the more skill points that you spend, the higher the skill goes and the better it is. But we're pretty good here. I'm just going to take protection. And yeah. So as long 
Let's just put that down here. There we go. And voila. Hiya, there we go. So now we can use the protection skill. It gives us five defense. Nothing, uh, nothing worth writing home about. It doesn't, doesn't really do anything. Let us continue our journey to our next level. Guys, like I said, if you're ever questioning, hey, what do I need to go kill? What should I do next? Take a look at your map. Let's find something for us. Uh, let's find the Flaris map. Region. Flaris. Monster detail. All right, so we're level 15. Um, as an unfunded character, you're going to definitely need to kill things that are closer to your level. The more powerful your character, the more, obviously, the higher the level enemies that we can kill. Uh, but for us right now, I think that we're pretty much just going to be able to handle uh, Nyang's. I think definitely level 17 shouldn't be too hard. But we're going to try it, so let's head out there. Let's run up. Let's Look at that guy. Hello, sir. You are with a flushy swishy cloak. You are awesome. You are awesome. Yeah, all right. It's a very quiet day. It's like nobody here. Bang server. We also have to remember, guys. Uh, Play Park, Play Park for Life is in the Philippines. It is only six a.m. for them right there, right now. So yeah. Now, uh, while we are running, while we are running, why are we running to go kill enemies? That's why we are running. Every character gets this new box. Ah, what's this box? What's in this box? Need your cell phone, baby? Guys, this uh, this new box has several items. You're going to get these uh, scrolls of amplification that last you until level 20 on the Lord Pang server. Uh, on the other server, I believe these are Q amps, actually. Something along the... Or 5 EX scrolls. They give you bonus EXP uh, all the way to one max level, I guess. It doesn't matter what level you are. Uh, here on the Lord Pang server, these ones only last you until 100, uh, level 20 because there's only 120 levels. So uh, feel free, anytime you make a new character, feel free in the future, you can just pop these scrolls, go to town on some enemies and kill them, which is awesome. It also gives you these power-ups. As a mercenary, I don't need, I don't use mana points. I don't need these. And because the item is soul linked, it means I can't trade it to other people. That means it's bound to my character. I don't need mana. I'm just gonna get rid of my refresher holds, taking up inventory space, so I don't need them. Vital drinks, again, I'm not using skills, so I definitely don't need these, so we're just gonna get rid of that. And now, upcut stones are pretty good. I'm gonna hold on to these, because right now, my character is powerful enough that these aren't gonna make much of a difference, so I'm not gonna waste, these are very good items, so I'm not gonna use my upcut stones immediately. And now, we're also going to receive some fashion. This one's for male. This one's for female. It matches your character. So uh, since we are a male, I'm going to delete the female sets because the female set we can't use. Crack open this bad boy. There we go. So once you, uh, once you open your box, and we could have opened this sooner. It's totally fine. Inside, you're going to find Wings of the Red Dragon. That's a flying item. You get to use that at level 20. So once we get there, we'll get there. We also get this cloak. So we're going to equip that. You also get a full fashion set. So we're going to equip that. Wow, look at us. We look so bad. Look at how badass we look. Oh, my goodness. Now, uh, usually, usually, usually the fashion sets give bonus stats. This one does not. So you don't have to worry about fashion right now. But one of the things that's very important is that we get a pickup pet. This one only lasts for seven days, but if you do spend money on the game, this would be the first item I buy. It's permanent, you keep it forever, you can trade it between all of your characters, and what this little bad boy does, I'm going to put him down here, I'm going to summon him, he picks up all of your items for you. How great is this? Look at that. Now. Let me go here. Let's kill stuff. Let's try to handle a Nyang. I think I can definitely handle a Nyang. 
especially because I used that b bull hamstern earlier. She only hits us for 14 anyway. Oh, we are totally fine. We're going to wreck these guys. So this enemy is level 17. Not a problem. Bam. And the red dragon picks up all of our items for us. Let's go to town. All right. Uh, so now at this point, let's just level up our character. Kill enemies close to your level. Slay them all. Kill them until you fill that sweet, sweet EXP bar. And let's get to killing. Um, now, there are other quests. So keep your eye out while you're adventuring for other quests. They're on the map. Uh, Play Park Flife does not have this one, though. You can't, you can't actually do this red icon. I know that the red arrow is, or the red exclamation point is there. It, it, it isn't. The quest giver does not exist. He does exist on Webzen Flife, which is a different version than what we're playing. But, yeah. So, uh, unfortunately, that quest doesn't exist. But there are other quests. So keep your eyes out for them. Have at them. They're fun to do. They explain a lot of the game world as well. And it's always fun to learn about the lore of the game. Oh, we just got... Look at this. Now we're picking up stuff. We got some star stones, which is a quest item. We got some a stick, a signer suit. We're just going to fill up our inventory with all kinds of goodies. Oh, yeah. 47.17%. Now, I will say at this point of the game... Uh, guys, you really you really do have to enjoy grinding. You really have to enjoy killing enemies. I love killing things. This is so good for me. I love this style. It's it's like it's like so nice because you just get to chill. Ah, sit back, relax. Now, uh, I'm not one. I don't like you guys know like AFK Arena. That's a very that's a, oh look a party invite. Why yes, I accept. Look now we have a party, guys. Well, thank you, Isla. I don't know if they're watching. I don't know if they're watching the stream. Um, <laughs> this person's name is COVID nineteen. Oh my god. Um, I'm glad. I'm glad that this person did invite us because now I get to explain what parties do, which is fantastic. Guys, while you're in a party, parties have levels. Once your party reaches level ten, it can become an advanced party. Know that an advanced party earns you bonus experience points so it's always important to be a part of an advanced party and if you fill up that party you earn even more exp so thank you to isla there for inviting us because now we should be earning just about more we went from 47 percent to 53 so that was like six percent oh or three did we kill two enemies that was like a bit of a three it was like three percent and a little bit extra too as well that's fantastic. Oh, nope. Guy. Gotta kill this person. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You can see they're missing. You miss a lot because I don't have any dexterity. So I don't we'll talk. We'll do a deep dive into uh, builds, builds later on. But in the meantime, let's get back to what I was saying. Guys, you really do have to like to kill stuff, man. This game's all about killing. You kill, your character gets more powerful, you can kill faster. The penultimate goal is to reach level 120 with all the character classes, of course. But as as you level up each character class, you're making your other characters more powerful because you have more money. You have access to resources. You can farm items. You can send those items to your other characters. It helps them level. And it, then ultimately, of course, it makes the experience better for yourself. The start is probably going to be a little hard. It's going to be difficult. Press on. Get out there. Flife it up. There we go. Look at that. 72%. We're almost level 16. We're almost level 16. Here we go. Guys, we're going to close out. As, as we are leveling up here, we got 25% more to go. We got 25%. I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to take the time to say that currently we are playing on the Medianiker server. That's where the Guild Siege is happening. I do shout casting for the Guild Siege events located there. You can catch those events at 10 a.m. here on the channel. You can catch those at 10 a.m. They also are going to be posted to the YouTube channel. So if you miss them, don't worry. You can catch up with them there. If you are very highly interested in playing this game, check the information below on the Twitch channel. 
All of the information is there for you to get started. I can hear that. What are you playing, baby? All the information is there for you to get started and for you to play the game. If you have any errors or any troubles, you can find us here. Message me. I'll help you. You can find me on Facebook or in the Discord. All of that information for you guys. I would love to hear from you and hope for you to be able to get in here. We're going to get several more kills here. 13%. And as we level up today, we're going to close out the video. We're going to close out the video. And you're there already. I know. Killforce is in the guild. He's a fellow member of the GK crew both here and in the guild. Bada bing, bada boom. Guys, if you like the content, please leave a follow. That helps me out greatly. You can also subscribe to the YouTube channel. I'm starting to post content there, which is good. I'm actually starting to post. With this kill, ladies and gentlemen, wherever you are in the world... Here at the GK Crew, I always like to say, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, wherever you are in the world. Have an excellent rest of your days, guys. We'll see you out there.